What's up everybody, it's your girl Emily Curl and welcome back to my virtual studio. I have a little bit of a different setup and I am so excited to keep the content going. We'll be joined today by singer and songwriter Cal, who you might recognize from his time in Time Flies and now he's creating his own solo work. Check it out. Hey Cal, thank you so much for being here. It's so nice to meet you. So good to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. We have a ton to talk about today. You know, I know I noticed that you've been active on, on your platforms with everything yeah. going on. What are you currently doing to sort of channel that energy of, of what we're all feeling and going through? I don't know. I kind of... There's a, there's a helplessness and then there's like... There's a helplessness tied to the, the desire to be proactive. And so at first I was like, it feels disingenuine to kind of just throw something on Insta or a platform. And then I got to the point where it's like, I'm too frustrated. I have to say something. Yeah. Um, and then it turns inward to like frustration at myself because like this has been, it, it's obvious. And I think mm -hmm. we've all been complacent to a fault. And it's like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what it takes in history for moments to wake you up, but I think we've all been awoken and it's, it's, yeah, I think they've been trying to find the right causes to donate to yeah. like, you know, you find things like in New York police, anything that happens in the police department is sealed. So like, the DA? A, I know it's, it's crazy. Like, how do we not know this stuff? And so just finding the right causes like that to give to and march and get your voice heard. You know, on one hand, it's like, oh my God, what's happening in America? On the other hand, it's like, yes, this is, this is America. Like, not to childish Gambino it, but like, protests are how we got here. Like, we didn't like tyranny, and so we rioted and rose up and yeah. got rid of it. And it's like, this is, this is what we do. This is, we have to make things better, and we have to stand with the person who has the least so we can help them be better. Uh, I don't know. I, I like, it's weird to talk about because yeah, yeah. I don't know. It feels like everyone's tiptoeing around broken glass and there's no good answers. So, so many things are happening right now, but I feel hopeful that we're the generation making the change. I mean, and I think something beautiful about this time too, is taking the time to really appreciate art and music and things that do make yeah. it, make us come together and make us understand different perspectives and points of view. And you released new music, which congrats, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank um, you. Catch, such a good song. And you said it was one of your favorites so far, right? Really, it really is. Why is this one so special to you? I don't know, I think, you know, you get asked in all these interviews, like, well, who are your influences, all this stuff? And it's always been classic rock for me. So it's oh, been classic rock, really? and hip hop, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and sometimes Young is, you know, one of my favorite bands ever. And, um, I, I just I listen to Yes a lot, so I have all these influences, and I love rapping, and I love, and it's kind of been like one of the my best assets, and almost one of my biggest flaws is that like I like to bounce around genres, mm -hmm. and it's like wait, what do you what do you do? I feel like I've found like I actually feel like I can do something more classic rock, but in my style, and I think when you put this song on. What's funny is that like I have all my friends hitting me up like, oh my god, I love this song. But then I have all my mom's friends, the yeah. <laughs> sixty plus crowd, who are like, who are like jamming so to incredible. it. Incredible, and I think um, I don't know. I just feel like all my next songs have this like, yeah, I would have listened to this in my like classic rock phase, but I also listen to this in my now phase. And it just feels mm. I feel like I'm in a good place with it. I'm excited. When you think about, you know, yourself right now, like what are you most appreciative of this moment when you're here during this time? What what's something that sticks out to you that you're like, okay, I'm this is good. I, I don't think that this is just an individual thing for me right now. Mm. I feel like I've never been so introspective. Mm. And I think I think that's kind of just everyone right now is is like how did we get here? What did I do? It's it's almost like um, we get to take stock of our lives. Like there there are so many things in in our world that like you know the too big to fail thought of like well it's going to continue that way because life continues and that's what happened. But now, for better or for worse, the world hit the pause button, and mm -hmm. we just get to take stock of our things and look around and say, do we need this? Do we want this? What's important? Um, and it's been really eye-opening on, on the musical front. Like I've never, like I've got my studio. I actually had to move during this process, which oh, was you crazy. Did? In LA, you were yeah. moving. Yeah. Wow. So I have like this, like kind of 
temporary setup of a studio, but I am just learning so much, and I don't know. It's it's like I I, I don't know how to answer it because I almost feel guilty finding joy and pleasure in certain moments mm. when the world's going through so much pain. Um, but I am I'm enjoying learning things about myself and the world and all these things and how to yeah. be better. And I also <laughs> love dress up in white. I was watching that before. The video, I was tearing up. Were you? Yes. Okay, good. That good, was, good. I mean, it was so yeah. sweet. I love the way you narrated it. And um, now, did you just get married? Was that recently filmed? That was a year ago. A year, okay. I should know that, but yeah, a year ago. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a, it's such a beautiful song, amazing. I mean, how does it feel to have that out into the world? So, it's weird because I've always been a private person and one of those that's like, like social media on one hand is a struggle for me because I okay. feel like it takes it takes a level of no I've gotten better but at first it was like it takes a level of narcissism which obviously we all have in healthy doses or unhealthy doses but like to say like look at me I'm doing this now look at me I'm doing this and I always thought like you know I'm gonna keep my like relationship private like I don't need that to be out on the forefront and so you know with my fans it was always like um, it was almost a guessing game at first, like, is that the <laughs> girl? But day. then, but then all of a sudden, you know, like, it's like, I want to shout it from a mountaintop. Like, I, I wanted to write this song and there were so many, you know, emotions I was feeling leading up. Also being a singer, by the way, and I say this in the video, everyone's like, what are you going to sing? <laughs> Any wedding you go to. I just heard this story, um, Kevin Bacon was talking about how uh, he pays off the DJ at every wedding he goes to so that they don't play the song from, what is it, Dirty Dancing? So oh my dance. God. <laughs> Which is amazing. But for anyone who's a performer out there, people like want you to do that. And so, you know, if you're at a wedding, a friend's wedding, whatever it is, and to my friends watching who have had me sing at their weddings, loved it, loved every <laughs> second of it. But going to my wedding, I was like, I'm not gonna perform, but I'm, I should say something. And then I kind of just, I wrote this song from the perspective if I was giving this speech right now. So the song opens with, as far as heartbeats go, mine is beating right out of my chest just because I like put myself in the moment and I was nervous and it was just, so I think the song really captured the moment and then obviously we had a videographer at the wedding and my buddy Dalton who filmed it did a great job. So we were able to put the video together. Have you seen so many people story. use that song? I feel like that's such an amazing wedding song. I can't even imagine how many people are using that at their own weddings. Honestly, it, that has like thank you for my new first dance song all this stuff like that yeah. and there are so many people who were supposed to be getting married during this time yeah and you think about all the planning like so many people who put down deposits for bands and photographers and all these things that they a lot of them aren't getting back it's kind of heartbreaking and so I've, I've had some DMs from people like that and so I'm trying to do special things for them been talking to the nod about maybe doing something but it's just Aww. like you know, we, we can rally behind one thing, love, love's a good cause. <laughs> Very beautifully said, honestly. Yeah. Um, and okay, so one more quick question before I have to let you go. Um, what else can we expect from you this year? So, well, I've been, I've been writing a lot and producing a lot for other people, which has been, which mm. has opened up my eyes as, as a solo artist, because it's kind of, you know, you get to, practice being in other people's world and seeing like everyone brings their own like secret sauce to a session or something and then you get to like oh i never thought about things that way um and so as i said before i really feel like i found kind of exactly who i am and when i um when i play catch or someone sends me a video of them saying catch or listening to it i have this pride of like oh my god i cannot wait for you to hear what is about to come because i really feel like i'm I'm where I'm supposed to be. Wow, that's awesome. So we so we can expect more music this year? Oh, definitely. Okay. Very Exciting. Soon. Can you can you give us any other details or no? That's all you can tell us uh, now, just soon? <laughs> soon. I would say probably in a month and a half to two months, mm. I have a song coming out, which um, I'll say it's called Cut Me Off. We are live right now. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Um, okay. We're starting the interview right now, right? <laughs> yep, here we go. <laughs> um, okay, cut me off. I can't wait. Yep.
But you can't tell us anything else. Okay, but we'll just hang on to that knowing in the next few months we'll be getting that. It's awesome. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Cal, thank you so much. This has been so fun. I so appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stream all of Cal's music, including his new album, Catch, on iHeartRadio. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.